So one thing I really quickly wanted to go check out was, can I go buy Cold Harbor Antiquities if I already have the Codex? And how much are they? I can. And they're priced here. So this is cool. This is different. So these are more like achievement furnishings now. So instead of necessarily having to go dig these up, you get the three of them, the codex, you get the three pieces of the codex, and then you can buy as many as you want without having to spend literal months farming them. They're kind of pricey, but this one's only 10k. I mean, imagine the difficulty of scrying up that many of them, right? This will actually really open up a lot of builds for people. Let's, let's go see like how much the stingless windows are. Is that okay? Because this is a pretty big deal. Some of them are just going to be kind of all over the on the pricing. You could farm them up yourself or buy multiples. So I'm gonna, guessing the stained glass windows are going to be 100k. Which honestly would be probably better than farming them. Font of Ariel, 100k. Okay, that makes sense. So you'd have to get the three codex for them first though. And then you can buy as many as you want. So there's like the Moth Priest. Wow, it's only 10k for that once you have three of them. So you'll get three for free just by doing the codex for them, right? 75k, ooh. Looking forward to seeing a lot of those going forward. But you have to get the three first. Okay, that seems doable. This place just keeps getting busier and busier. What is this? What What is everything here? Mr. Karn, hi. <laughs> we have a boat to high aisle. I see. I, I don't think I had really noticed that before. It does not look like a boat to High Isle, just by the way. <laughs> cool thing. So you have your normal quick slots, right? So you have, say, your quick slots. You have, yeah, you have your food and you have your potions and whatnot. But you can do more than that. Or you can put whatever you want in it. So you can have your banker and your merchant like you normally would, right? For it with your quick slots. But there's more! So you can also go into your tools. And then you can quick slot all of, say, your tools that you have. And there aren't a lot of them, to be honest, but it's a special little something you can do with that. And that way, if I wanted to, I can click through that and I can summon my cake from the tools category. So that way your tools, like your antiquarian eye and whatnot, aren't going to be clunking up your quick slot wheel. And you get more access, ready access to tools. Also you can have a special wheel just for allies. So you can have, you know, one of each of them. So you can have like a, your, your banker and you can have your merchant and you can have your rag picker and your armory assistant and your smuggler, at least one of each of them, or you could have more of them. And that way, again, if you hover over Q and you cycle through this, you can cycle to your ally and you don't have to have your armory assistant um, clogging up your quick slot wheel. So you don't have to put any of these on here, and I probably would recommend not doing that. You probably want to put your siege equipment or your food and your potions or, you know, more useful things here. And you get more. Emotes are not from this one. You go into a different place. You go into help and then emotes, and then you can put all of your emotes. So, so you can have your collected things, um, or whatever, and you can just go ahead and slot these in here. So you can slot whatever you want. Where are my bullhorns at? Um, bullhorns, of course, I need that. And, you know, all these fun things in here. And so you can quick slot these. And so let me do a couple of those. So I can go ahead and, like, you know, go to emotes and then do bullhorns. There's more. If you also go into this... You can go into quick chat and you can slot these as well. So let's say you're in a dungeon and you're having a problem. Then you might want to say, you know, stay on the boss. So it will actually say, in the, you can't see this right now, but it'll say in the say chat, tank and taunt the boss. Or you can um, say, ignore the ads. Because if you're right in the middle of a dungeon or a trial, you don't have time to say ignore the ads, or, you know, burn the boss, or this, that, or the other. Um, so you can do some quick chat things. I think people will probably be able to spam me with these in the zone chat, but it will be kind of fun. It just does it in say chat. So here's a humgood defender. 
Doesn't have a lot, I from what I saw before. It does have some nice flowers. There are really not a lot of home goods furnishings compared to like how it think has been before. A couple new boulders. Huge boulder actually. And then the achievement furnishings will all be new. This is cool. Pirate themed, like boat themed. Huge door. A door that actually has a door frame with it. Okay, gondola. Imagine a lot of people will use these for other things as well. Very active moving heart. Aww. And then the little medallion. The with with the with the pouring goblets. Oh man, it even has the little colors on it. Okay, and then we have lightning rod. Q lightning. Maybe it doesn't actually have the lightning to it. Maybe you have to add the lightning rod down to sink it into it. <laughs> and trails of tribute. I know that there are some t Tales of Tribute furnishings out there that I was able to look up. New house? I'm assuming it's here. Well, let me preview it. Hi, I'll hold it. So where are we? We are in Gonflin Bay right here. I'll go ahead and preview this as a furnished, or I'll just buy it furnished, I think will probably be the best thing to do. Let's see. Get a sense of the style of the furnishings in here. Some of them might be crown exclusive. Probably most of them are going to be craftable. And no, that will be good enough. Oh, we have all sorts of new craftable things. Cool, cool, cool. Nautical theme. The table is very highly detailed. So, kind of getting a sense of the high aisle Breton stylings on these furnishings. Kind of intricate like a lot of the lay when things are. And this is how the house is. I'm wondering if it has a courtyard. It probably does. movable in here. <laughs> okay. okay, so fairly large estate. Okay, we'll go out to the courtyard. I'll go out there at some point. How tall is this house? Gosh. This keeps going up and up and up. Can I, go, can I go up there? I can go up at the very top, too. Okay, we're now outside. Even though there's an invisible wall right here, so that's, that's the end. <laughs> There's bullhorns. Bullhorns all day long here. Life is good. Okay, let me go back down. This is a little way to look out. Can you buy this house with gold? Mm, I didn't see that. Probably not. I mean, maybe they've done they've done houses like that before with the chapter updates. Can I hop down there? Invisible wall. Oh no! Oh, not so much. Um, invisible wall. Where where are the walls versus not? I'm a little paranoid here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I can get a good view out of the bay. I think I should maybe... I got stuck. Good good job, me. Okay, I'm gonna get up there, can I? 
Not really. Okay, going back to the beginning. Let me see where the courtyard actually is. I'll leave. This is a large house. There must just be a way out. Okay, this looks good. There we go. There's a courtyard. Right proper courtyard. <laughs> okay. New paintings. I can show those off. Yeah, so you can see out. Good views out. Would be able to put things out there if you wanted to. Quite a large house. Oh, it looks like the courtyard kind of goes in and out of this as well. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. You just get a good view of it from there. Okay, okay. Okay, so a beautiful, stylish house. I would be able to preview some furnishings here as well. Full estate, yep. Could be Water's Edge. Yeah, maybe it will be purchasable. I don't know. Ancient Anchor Birth Housing. Okay. Whether the bay's waters are tranquil or rough, you'll always find a spot of calm and warmth within the walls of the cozy inn room in Gondwan Bay. Services abound just outside the door, making this good. Here's your inn room. <laughs> it's a room. I don't know what you're expecting. It's a good room. Comes with a light. I would be able to potentially look up new things. Are they all going to be Breton? They're all going to be Breton. Okay, Breton style stuff. Let's see if there's new Breton style things. So, yeah, let's just kind of look at all these. A lot to check out. Ooh, with the inlaid wood there, it's fun design. Compass look. Kind of a lot of different styles they have going on. Oh, there we go. They included all of the paintings as Breton style. That makes it easier to find. So I have like a still life. So I imagine a lot of these will come from treasure chests and whatnot, what they normally do. New silverware. Pretty stylish on all these. Crab. Piles of crabs. Just need crabs. We'll get crabs with high aisle. And mussels. And hanging herbs. Beautiful. This is a nice clean stack of books. That don't have Daedric symbols on them. <laughs> might be might be pleasant. I really like their full bookcases. He has a lot of furnishings. Most of these are going to be craftable. Blue books, yes. Ooh, pokey outy things. Those are fun. It's a fairly ornate model. Now, from what I could tell, I did go poking around. It does seem like they all will require a new style map, kind of like how you normally expect where they take uh, one for greens and blues and two for purples. Should 
Shiny bed. A lot of understated elegance with the new stuff. Previewing new furnishings on PTS. Something to look forward to. Big change. Oh, that's a very not smudgy mirror. It's <laughs> throwing me off a little bit. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm gonna fix this little glitchy part. Compass rose again. Kind of a couple different styles, really. Getting a stack of Draconic Scales, giving you armor. And then you send out a shockwave when you stop sprinting. And you get a damage shield based off of that. So you'll either get a lot of armor and build that up and then get a big shield afterwards and you also stun if you're at max stats. So that might be a fun thing to use if you're just sprinting a lot. I'm trying to think of where you would benefit the most from that. Or it could just be going from like thing to thing. You kind of build that damage shield up without a shockwave and just do your damage, and then you go on to the next thing. So it might be kind of a fun farm set. And then... War Girdle. Roll Dodge. This is a pretty big change. Roll Dodge no longer evades attack. So normally, if you roll Dodge, you don't take damage. You dodge the thing. You take zero damage. Instead, you get a damage shield that absorbs 21,000 damage. So, it doesn't last very long, but it would allow you to take the hit from the attack, which unless if it were doing like way over your health, then you'll probably survive that and still have a little bit of a damage shield left over to help. So that's a different approach to that. You would probably mostly be benefiting from that one. Scroll running in Cyrodiil with a sprint. Oh, that's a good idea. And then if you got stopped, you would stun your attacker. And more with whispers. Gain crit chance and increased inspiration, alliance rank, alliance skill, and monster kill experience. Which means that you could rank up faster, get CP faster, based off of how many books of Shaldor's library you have collected. I, um, I have enough of them that I'm maxing it out, so I don't know how many you would have to have, but I, I have enough to have the... Max. It has like the like Hermaeus Mora eyeballs all over it. So that would actually look look weird too. Critical chance and increased rank and whatnot. That would be a really pretty big bonus too, just for the crit chance. And shoulders is a purple books. Okay, Oak and Soul Ring. This one's a pretty big game changer. While equipped, you are unable to swap between your bars primary and backup weapon set, so you could be on one or the other, but you can't swap. But the the trade-off on that is it just gives you a bunch of stats, all the stats, health, recovery, both types, get armor, damage, crit chance. It It's probably OP. <laughs> um, so if you're just going one bar anyway, or if you're doing werewolf, then yeah, you're going to be really strong as if you're not using other abilities. Full health, you gain 40% damage reduction after taking damage at full health. So for that one hit, you'll take less damage. Um, you gain Serpent's Rebuke for 10 seconds, snaring yourself. So you snare yourself. Why would you want to do that? Getting Major Berserk and Major Courage, increasing your damage done. So you kind of hunker down and do a lot of damage. That's kind of a funny, funny thing to do. But so you're either taking less damage if you get ambushed. It seems like a good like anti-ambush set. So maybe if you're in like um, Imperial City or something, you get attacked. You don't get, uh, you don't take a bunch of damage from that first attack. Anti-ganking, um, and then you also 
strike back, and he can do a lot of extra damage and for a short burst. Or it might actually be good for other things if you're actually healing up and to full, and then getting um, just not moving a lot anyway. It might actually be really good damage for like dungeons and stuff. Oh, I have company. <laughs> <laughs> rush into a fight and then get queued up and do the death match. Well, <laughs> they, they live to tell 